everybody, Barb Schaffern here from Schaffern Herbals. Today I'm doing some lash extensions and doing a fill. And I'm doing a fill on my client who does 12, 13, and 14 fans. And we do a cat eye. And I just want to show what somebody who has really great lashes looks like. Um, I'm going to, to uh, just measure them for you so that you can see. It's a good rule of thumb that your lash extensions are no longer than three millimeters longer than your natural lashes. And on this client, she's a super textbook case and I'm gonna show you. I have, I, I'm a big fan of Paris Lash Academy products. I use their fans and I use their tweezers. This is a Paris Lash tweezer. Uh, and what I love about them is they have a little ruler on them so we can measure and see how long people's lashes are. So I'm gonna just line the zero up with her lid and you can see that her own lashes, her longest ones, that's an extension, but you can see that her longest lashes are around 10 or 11 millimeters. And you can see her natural retention is very good. I mean, look how long that that, that natural lash is. And then you can see that her, our extensions we do a cat eye out here, and then we do shorter ones in here where the natural lash ones get actually smaller. She does have longer ones on the outside, which is unusual. That's why most people can't get a cat eye, but not this client. She has really great lashes. Okay, so we just swipe the glue right through the blob, get a little bit on there. Then we isolate, which is the hardest part, which is then pulling that apart to an individual lash. Then we put it on, not too too close to the lid, but not too far out, because as they grow, they'll twist and turn if you go too far out on the lash. But you don't want it touching the skin, because that can rub and be uncomfortable. 